Hello, this is the Provoke Brawn, and this is a video to compare two premium microphone boom arms. The Elgato Wave Mic Arm, seen here, still in its box, and the Rode PSA1, which is a solid favourite among many YouTubers and mic lovers around the world. The PSA1 I have been using, actually have two of them, one that I've been using for my top-down camera view, and the second I've been using to test a variety of different microphones on. And I recently had in the Wave mic arm, and I've been testing that out. I've done an unboxing video and set up videos on both of these boom arms separately, as well as one on how to use it as a camera mount. So I'll link to those videos in the description. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you the differences between the two, how they install, the features of them, and talking about which is my favourite out of the two and why. So here you can see the Elgato Wave mic arm still in its box. It's worth noting there are two Elgato mic arms. This is the standard version, but there's also a low profile one. In the box, you get the microphone boom arm, obviously, and the mounting system for the desk, as well as that counterweight that you can see there, which allows you to balance out the mic weight. It's an interesting point of note is that this mic arm can handle between 250 grams and a kilogram in terms of the weight of the microphone. And that counterweight system is designed to help cope with lightweight mics. So interesting setup there. The mic arm itself also has that riser which allows you to mount that in the main desk mount and rise the arm up means you can potentially mount it behind your monitor for example and then have the mic arm come over the top of your monitor which is pretty interesting it also has a really good premium finish to it some cable channeling that allows you to run your xlr cable or usb cable through and hide it away and some much needed little things that allow you to put it together nicely and just speak to the premium quality of it so for example you can see what i was talking about with a little riser mount here just an additional attachment that you insert and then you slide that into the base. Those two bits then get held together with an Allen key that's included in a little notch that allows you to set it up. And I'll show you a bit more on that later on. The Rode PSA1, by comparison, has a similar setup in some ways and different in others. You'll see that it has this desk mount system, which has a much smaller bracket for the bottom, but some very nice padding for the top. It also has a large mounting system which uh, you can install on your desk so if you're willing to drill a hole in your desk and make a nice big hole in your desk you can actually install this instead of using the usual bracket to install your microphone arm in there which will obviously make it more secure and it's also quite nice looking but it does mean decimating your desk by making a big hole in it the standard mounting system you can see here as i was saying the bottom of that is quite thin um, but it is a straightforward affair nice chunky solid bit of kit and again, a nice rubber topping to it, so it's not going to damage the top of the desk. You're basically unscrewing it, making the space for it, and then mounting it in. And then the mic arm just sits in top of that, but it doesn't get held down in any way. There are some differences in the specifications that are worth discussing, and I'll go into a bit more depth on what that means a bit later on. But there are differences in the amount of weights that the microphone arms can take. So this one supports mics from a minimum weight of 700 grams to a max of 1,100, which is quite different from the Elgato one, which, as I said, has a minimum of 250. So that's worth bearing in mind that you need a heavier microphone for the Rode PSA1. For XLR mics, that's not a problem. For something smaller and more compact and more lightweight, you might have an issue. I did do a video separately on how to tighten this mic arm up because you can actually use the tensioning screws on it in order to make sure it doesn't fly around. But here you can see me mounting a blue Yeti on it and it sort of copes, but it also flies about. The microphone boom arm does come with these adapters. You see the gold adapter there that screws into the standard thread and that then allows you to install a multitude of other mics on it quite easily and you can adjust the end of that as well. The Elgato wave mic arm comes with a couple of other adapters so it has that standard gold one that you can see and then another one so you have three sorts of threads and I'll include all the information in the description on this but it has a quarter to three eighths and a quarter to five eight adapter included in the box as well as a stand-up one. The wave mic arm also shines 
because as a standard it has this ball head mount on it so you also have as standard installed when you get it out of the box you have this mounting system here which you can see that you then put the adapters on and not attach your microphone to or you just use them like that if the mic fits straight onto it but what makes that interesting is that you can turn and tilt and twist it into a, all manner of different positions which makes it really easy to adjust and customize the position of now as you saw earlier on with the Rode PSA 1 does have a slight system where you can adjust the length and position of it but it's nowhere near as flexible as the Elgato Wave mic arm because of this design it's much easier you can see also very similar setup in terms of the adapters but you get that extra one with the Elgato mic arm so you have a bit more flexibility in what you can install on here quite easily as well so for example this smaller one that I'm about to show you can be used to attach a fluid head mount for a camera but one of the things that I have found is that unfortunately the wave mic arm can't support my camera it is too heavy for the mic arm so although it can go up to a kilogram in mic weight apparently it can't cope with the camera which is an interesting point that I'll talk a bit more about later on the mounting system for the Elgato wave mic arm is a lot more solid I feel it also has a really interesting bracket system at the bottom that lever can be pulled down and turned so you don't need to turn it in full 360 and keep going around the clock style so if you're putting this in a position where you can only move it a little way you can still easily adjust it when the mic arm is put into place you can then tighten it up with that little allen key that I was showing you which means that it won't move around and it'll sit where it should and that's one of the things that I found about this my initial impressions of it was that it was very solid and very premium feeling and just wasn't bouncing about all over the place also you have the included counterweight system which you use if you have a lighter microphone and that will support it and stop it being a problem where it might fly about now the Rode PSA 1 you can see a close-up of the installation system here and how that works it isn't as flexible you can push that little metal bracket at the bottom in and out to adjust the fit of it I found it quite a bit more fiddly to install initially and to get it set up and you can also see that it has a warning about the tensioning on it and how it will spring off both these mic arms have that warning on them to let you know that they will spring up quite fast and what you will see is that the Rode PSA 1 is a bit more aggressive with that. Now a quick look at the channeling for the cabling because it's one of the nice features of the Elgato mic arm is that it has this cable channeling system which then has a cover on it. That nicely hides away even thick XLR cables so that you can tuck them out of sight. They can also be pulled through and adjusted so if you put it in and then you need to adjust it because you've not quite put enough length on one side or the other you can really easily do that so it's a really simple system but that basically allows for a much nicer end result in terms of cable tidying unfortunately the Rode microphone does not have that system as you can see we don't have anything for it because you basically have two metal bars and the springs what it does come with is a number of velcro ties that you can tie your cables up on on the arm itself but unfortunately it just doesn't look as good in terms of tidying those cables it's not a bad looking arm and it's certainly still a premium one and once you've got your cables set up and tidied up nicely it doesn't look too bad but if you are really particular about cables and you want to keep things really neat then the Elgato arm is probably superior you can see a bit of what I was talking about with the mounting system here though you'll note just how much more that ball head mount sticks out on the wave mic arm by comparison and that allows you to get that into a much better position and customize it to set it up in the way you want it here I am mounting the Audio Technica AT2035 on it which comes with a shock mount so you can actually put a shock mount on the ball head mount and then you can adjust the position of that you see the shock mount is also has an adjustment on it so really multiple different ways you can adjust this but it should fit a multitude of microphones whether you have a shock mount or not and it's easy to set up there but one of the things I like about it is just how flexible it is and I was really excited about this mic arm when I started using it because it feels really premium I didn't have to do a load of adjustment it didn't start flying about when I put the microphone on there it just moves into the position you want it to and stays there it doesn't seem to have much wobble now for a while as I said earlier in this video I've been using the Rode PSA 1 as a camera mount so it works as my top-down mounting system and the reason for that is what you can see here 
with the microphone is when you put it into a certain position, you can get it into a really good position that goes across. And it's got a longer horizontal and vertical reach than the Wave mic arm as well. So if you want a lot of adjustment out of your mic arm, then the Rode one is it. But what you can see is that initially when I set it up, it's just springing all over the place. However, once you've tightened up the tensioning screws that I showed in that previous video, it's then really easy to get this arm into a great position. And I was really hoping that because the Wave mic arm was able to do the same in terms of just being really stable and not springing up over the place, that I'd be able to use this as my replacement for a top-down camera because with the Rode PSA 1, unfortunately, there's a bit of wobble and I have to do a lot of video stabilization to get the shake out of the camera. So I thought this might be an option, but I actually found when I put the camera on this arm, it couldn't cope and it just keeps dropping right down, which is strange because the maximum weight that's meant to be able to cope with is nearly the same. There's only a hundred gram difference between the two in terms of the maximum weight they can support, but it seems that the PSA one can handle more weight. However, if you have a lighter microphone, the wave mic arm is the one to go for because it's able to cope with a lot lighter. It is also, if you're just using it for a microphone, the better mic arm, in my opinion, more premium, better looking, easier to adjust and much easier to set up and more flexible too. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Hope you found this video useful, interesting, hilarious or otherwise. Take a look at these other videos that I think you might find interesting as well. And have a look at the description for links and other information you might find useful. Click that join button to see the benefits of being a member of my YouTube channel. And most importantly, have a great life.